Good morning, class. Um, I hope you guys had a great Easter weekend, um, that you enjoyed the break, and that you were able to enjoy the beautiful um, time outside. Um, it was very nice and warm, so I hope you guys were able to go out and do some fun activities. Um, for today, it is a purple day. It's Monday. Um, you're going to start from 9 to 11 with your student prep time. Okay, this is a time for you to get ready to prepare yourself for today's assignments, right? So you're going to click on the link for your pledge announcements. Okay, um, on that link, you have all of this information that you need to be aware of and that your parents need to be aware of, okay, like the weekly schedule. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mrs. Allen has her announcements, okay, so you can click on, um, you know, it says say the pledge and pause for a moment of silence. Today is Patriotic Day, um, so here is the picture or graphic of this week's Spirit Week. Um, today's Patriotic Day, like I said. <clears throat> so put on something that's got stars and stripes or red, white, and blue and celebrate. Um, here are some upcoming events. Uh, remember the virtual Bricky Makers and Innovator Showcase. I was talking to you about that um, on our last Zoom class that we had. Um, so if you have a project that you want to showcase, uh, click on the link and upload your picture or video of it. Okay, I want to see everybody in my class doing this. It's not required, but I would really like to see you guys doing something that is really cool and innovative. Don't forget about Mrs. Ambler's The Virtual Talent Show. So if you have a musical talent you want to show off, sign up for that. Um, and then complete any missing assignments. Um, be mindful and prep for school. Show everyone that you can do work schoolwork just like a job, right? So take time and look at this employability skills poster. Um, so that way you know, like, you know, the things that you do now is only going to either help you succeed in middle school and high school and beyond, or it's not. So read this poster, look at it, study it, memorize it. Okay, and then do the 21 day positive change happiness challenge. Okay, so you can click on those links and look at that. This is the link for the agenda for where you have to pick one or two assignments. Um, we'll go over that. I th think this link wasn't working. Still isn't working. I would keep checking back to see if that link is working. Okay, and then here's some other ways you can showcase. Um, here's a showcase of ways that others are making a difference, okay? So you can look at those and you can see others who have turned in their stuff to the school to be posted, All right? So that's what you should be working on during that nine to 11 time frame. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right, so yeah, so you're gonna choose one to two activities from that student prep weekly agenda. I didn't put the link there because again, it wasn't working. So check back throughout your nine to nine a.m. to eleven a.m. time frame. Again, work on any missing or unfinished assignments. Um, of course, remember we put in that new thing about missing assignments. Um, as a fifth grade, you need to have all of your missing and unfinished assignments turned in by Friday of every week in order for it to be counted as full credit. Um, if you don't finish it by Friday or turn it in by Friday, it, on Saturday it's 10% off. By Sunday, midnight, if it's not turned in, then it's a zero in Skyward, okay? Um, if you see Mrs. York, Mrs. Montemayor, or Mrs. Anderson, please complete your 20 minutes of freckle in Mrs. York's class, okay? You were given the sheet of paper with the class code on that when we left school on that Friday, March 13th. So um, if you don't have that class code anymore, you need to reach out so I can get it from Ms. York. It is important that you are completing the 20 minutes of Freckle every single day. She is giving me a report of those who are not completing 
their 20 minute time. Okay. So if you see Mrs. York, Mrs. Mossmayer, or Mrs. Anderson, you need to be completing that 20 minutes of freckle in Mrs. York class during the nine to 11 time frame. Okay. It is very important that you click on turn in or mark as done for your assignments because that is how I take your attendance and I know that you have completed the assignments. Okay. Now, today's assignments. For math, we start a new topic today about geometry. Super easy, super fun. Um, geometry is one of my favorite subjects um, in math or favorite topics in math. Um, so I've created a video lesson for you to view before working on your math assignment. Um, the link to the video and the assignment is in Math Google Classroom. Your assignment is in Freckle, um, so you'll have 10 questions to complete today. For reading, you'll be taking your whole final test today. Um, that link is in ELA Google Classroom. It is in quizzes. It is set for you to retake it as many times as you need to to get that 80% or higher. Um, you can use your study guide and book to help answer the questions, okay? And then don't forget, Wednesday, your study guide is due. Um, the details are posted in the ELA Google Classroom. Remember, you are taking pictures of the chapter pages that I have listed. Um, for social studies, check your social studies Google Classroom for today's assignments. Uh, read aloud. It's the six minute podcast episode 131 that is posted in the ELA Google Classroom as well. And then for specials, both music and art are already posted. So check the Music Google Classroom for Mrs. Amsler's class. Um, her assignments are due every Wednesday. So make sure you're getting those turned in on Wednesday. For art, <clears throat> the art assignment is in Canvas. Uh, Mrs. Sidoris listed the assignments for the rest of the month. So there should be four or five different assignments for you to choose from. And you just pick one every week and work on it and send a photo to Sidora's class at ga.hover.k12.in.us. All right. If you have any questions or you need help with anything, please let me know. I'll be on Go Guardian from 11 to 3 um, today um, or through Google Classroom comments. I will try and answer those as quickly as possible. Um, and then, of course, we will still have our Zoom meeting at 1 o'clock. Um, really use Zoom as a time to ask questions. Um, if you need help with something, to ask me, okay? Not just to hang out with your friends. Of course, I want you to do that. But really use that time that you have with me to answer, or to ask any questions for me to answer, um, to ask for help if you need it, okay? Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. See you hopefully soon. I really miss you guys.